good tonight, and it's a rewarding relationship between a Greyhound rescue operation and a local group that empowers people with disabilities. As our Erica Tarantel explains right now, the benefits for both are immediately apparent. Hard to tell who's happier here. Yeah, the dogs or these volunteers, experts at delivering some much appreciated affection. We're at Greyhound Friends in Hopkinton, a rescue operation for retired race dogs. Even though there isn't Greyhound racing in Massachusetts anymore, there are lots and lots and lots of dogs that really need homes. Louise Coleman started rescuing dogs in the 80s. She's caring for 34 right now, brought in from other parts of the country where there is still racing. Florida, West Virginia, Kansas. A day in the life here is busy. Get the dogs out, clean their kennels, do the dishes, clean up our yards, and pay attention to the dogs and walk them. A ton of work. And so helpers like these from the Charles River Center, which serves people with disabilities, are key. We really depend on, on volunteers to keep us going every day. Always dependable crews like this one now come here two days a week. Not every job is glamorous. Doggy dishes are part of the duties, but it's hard to beat a walk with a lovable friend like this. Come on. The interaction, a win-win for the dogs and their visitors. Happy. You happy to come? Yes. All involved feeling a sense of gratitude. <laughs> it's just really good to see sort of um, the group come together, work, and then feel rewarded at that. Thank you. Now the dogs you saw there are looking for homes. Louise tells me they work out really well for people who work because they're used to routines and used to doing what people ask them to do. They do like to sleep a lot. Find out more on WCVB.com. Erica Tarantel, WCVB News Center 5.